Dubai on Monday staged a test fly for what it said uh, would soon be the world's first drone taxi service. The company behind the self-flying taxi, Volocopter, performed its maiden test run in a ceremony stage for Dubai Crown Prince Sheikh uh, Hamdan bin Mohammed. It was uh, un, um, in fact, manned for its uh, test flight, but the flying taxi developed by German drone firm Volocopter resembles a small two-seater helicopter cabin topped by a wide hoop studded with 18 propellers. It is meant to run without remote control guidance and with a maximum flight duration of 30 minutes. It comes with plenty of uh, failed safes uh, in case of trouble. And the self-flying taxi has got backup batteries, rotors, and for a worst case scenario, a couple of parachutes too. The autonomous air taxi will be used for the world's uh, first self-flying taxi service set to be introduced by the Dubai's road and transport authority in the coming years. The helicopter is in the race uh, with more than a dozen well-funded European and US firms. The UAE has sought to distinguish itself in a region mired in war and strife as a high-tech, forward-looking society. The ultimate implementation will actually see you using a smartphone, having an app, ordering a volocopter to the next voloport near you. The volocopter will come autonomously, pick you up and take you to your destination. It already is capable of flying uh, based on GPS tracks today and will implement full sense and avoid capabilities, also dealing with unknown obstacles along the way uh, once we reach full implementation. We have to make sure 100 percent that everything is safe and everybody, everything has to be done according spec, according specification. Plus, as you know, the uh, location where uh, I mean, where those helicopters has to land, maybe it's on top of some buildings and the parks and the parking. We have to also coordinate with the police for the safety issue, for security issue. So it's we have to do a lot of work for the coming two three years.